On today's two on your side town hall, a lot of people thought by now we'd know the details about a new stadium for the Buffalo Bills. Is an announcement now imminent? We're going to talk through that. Plus some good news for renters who hope to be able to buy a home. There is some new help available for some. We'll explain that. And alcohol to go became very popular during the pandemic. Many want it made permanent. What the governor had to say about that earlier today. And good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here at 530 tonight. Whether or not you're a football fan, you're probably a taxpayer. So our lead story tonight affects you. We should be inching closer to a deal announced between the state of New York, Erie County and the Buffalo Bills to build a new stadium in Orchard Park. It has a big price tag and there are some big questions about how this is going to play out. On Monday of this week, Tim Graham with The Athletic, who has been covering this extensively, said that the tea leaves indicate to him that a deal could be announced as early as this week. He pointed out that the parties had hoped to have had this done by the end of last year, so they're already a couple of months late. Then Jason Wolf with the Buffalo News said on Twitter after that, do not expect Bill's stadium deal to be announced this week, but it's coming this month. My sources in state and county government told me that they have nothing new to add right now, just that negotiations continue and are generally going well. So what to make of all this? Joining us now is our sports director, Adam Benini. And Adam, we've been waiting for a long time uh, to get this announcement. Uh, we weren't sure if it was going to be in the governor's you know, initial budget proposal. It wasn't. We were told then that they were negotiating on it. Um, I know that there are a lot of moving parts to this, and I know that a lot of people with whom you speak aren't necessarily concerned right now that we haven't heard anything. But what's the latest that you can tell us? Well, I can tell you this. I had a source indicate to me that it, it could be as early as this week, as you had mentioned prior in the, in the intro there. But that's still very much a question. And now, as you pointed out, there are reports that would suggest otherwise. It certainly seems at this point, though, Michael, it's not a question of if a deal is going to get done, just a question of when it's going to be announced, with the public portion being in excess of a billion dollars on what has been projected, of course, as a $1.4 billion price tag. That's before cost overruns, which I think it's probably safe to assume are going to become an issue as part of all this. Cost overruns, especially considering inflation that we're dealing with right now, right? We pay more when we go to the grocery store, so you have to expect that the construction crews are going to be paying more for some of the things they need to build this. Uh, so that'll be interesting to follow. Uh, we are expecting that the new stadium, as you mentioned, is going to cost north of a billion dollars, probably, you know, one and a half. All indications are that the majority of that money is going to come from taxpayers, most of it from the state of New York. Um, what can you tell us about potential costs and even, you know, Seems like money matters, right? Is that part of the holdup and why this is kind of dragging out a little bit? I'm sure it is, Michael, to some extent, and it's really hard to get uh, a read on exactly what those issues are. People close to this remain fairly tight-lipped, but I did speak to a source close to negotiations who told me that all of the major deal points are essentially agreed to. But remember, this is a three-way and in some ways a four-way transaction. You've got the county, the state. Pagula Sports and Entertainment and the National Football League's involved in a lot of this. And I'm told that with that come a myriad of details, some of which still need to be worked out and agreed to, but nothing at this point that would derail uh, the deal with the goal being to open play in the new stadium for the 2026 season. Yeah, it shows the clock is kind of ticking for that because we know these things take a long time to build. Uh, the Pagulas, who own the Bills, of course, also own the Sabres. There's mm -hmm. been some discussion out there about this and the possibility that maybe they want to sell the Sabres or want to unload some of their assets as part of a, a new deal for the Bills to get this new stadium. Uh, anything that, that you can add to that, or, or, or is there just a lot of speculation on that? Right? Well, right. I mean, they would have to... In terms of the stadium deal we talked about, and you factor in the cost overruns, Michael, maybe come up with upwards of a half billion dollars, right, in terms of the private portion of this. There's been a lot of speculation to that end about a sale. I can tell you I've had multiple sources tell me that at the very least they've had discussions with parties that might be interested. I think it's probably fair to say they're evaluating the entire financial situation in terms of uh, the team, which is losing millions, along with the properties around Key Bank Center that they own. But I certainly can't sit here and say that a decision has been made to sell. In fact, I have spoken with Ron Rakuya, who is the executive vice president for Pagula Sports and Entertainment, who says the team is absolutely not for sale and denies any of that speculation and some of the facts associated with it or suggestions of fact associated with it. We'll see if that changes once a stadium deal is finalized. It would make sense for any of that to surface or, or not surface beforehand, right? But the official word is there's no price tag on the Buffalo Sabres.
Interesting. We've got a little bit of time left, Adam. I'm going to throw a couple of extra things at you here. First, on, on the, the deal with the Sabres, it's interesting to me. They paid, what, $169 million? 168 they, I believe. 168 when they bought the franchise, you know, years ago. Mm -hmm. The last Forbes estimate on the value of the Buffalo Sabres is now $500 million. So they're losing money on the team, right? But the value of the team has gone up substantially, right? I mean, that would be a nice little little profit, not to say that they're trying to sell the team, but it's worth a lot more well, than when they bought it. You know, Michael, I've talked to people close to this and, and who've been involved with sales, and there's the actual number. Remember, the National Hockey League and, and all the Board of Governors and all the owners want the number to be as high as possible because it dictates the value of, of other franchise. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it remains to be, if the Sabres were to sell, which again, they deny the team is, is for sale, uh, I would be interested to see what the actual number is that the, that the team would sell for based on the fact that they're losing, I'm told, uh, upwards of, uh, of $30 million a year mm. at, at this point. You know, given the issues with attendance and coming out of the pandemic, uh, it's a serious financial drain right now. Um, so, and for any would-be owner who would want to keep the team here, uh, it, it's a factor. Yeah, absolutely. And then finally, Adam, if we go back to the, the Bill Stadium and the main topic of conversation here, um, nothing has changed in terms of in Orchard Park, open air, probably cover the seats, mm -hmm. um, all of those things, uh, as far as we know, based on, on sources you've talked with, are, are kind of still the same, right? Yeah, correct. Every indication is that Orchard Park remains the site. And those fa as far as the design and the construction uh, all, all remain the same, at least at this point, based on what I'm told. The capacity of the stadium, which I know some people are concerned about, but it's not uh, it's going to be much bigger than the current one, maybe just not as many seats. But that's just the way the trends are going, I think. All right, Adam Benini, our sports director. Thanks so much for uh, for coming on and walking us through this. You bet, Michael.